Welcome to this What's New in Autodesk Vault 2021 presentation. I'm Clint Brown, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to run you through all of the new features in this exciting new release. So with Vault 2021, Autodesk has added productivity improvements as they do with every new release. Uh, and this release has three specific areas that we're going to focus on. So first off, productivity for CAD users. There's new interoperability between Vault 2021 Inventor and Revit with workflow and usability improvements, smart duplicate reductions. So Autodesk has included a powerful geometric search feature within Autodesk Vault Professional, and this allows us to find and reduce duplicates, helping us with increased productivity and cost savings. And then more efficiency for administrators. There is now more granularity for security settings with regards to permissions, settings, and more. So let's take a deeper look into the new functionality and we'll pass over to a video from my good friend, Paul Mumford. Autodesk Vault 2021 continues to offer additional value and insights into your data directly in response to your feedback through the Autodesk community. For Vault customers who are coordinating on civil and AEC projects, Vault 2021 now supports management of Revit files that have been linked into your inventor models from your local network drive or via BIM 360 docs. For large model design coordination, Navisworks files will now show a preview in Vault and can be used to create shared views. For Vault administrators, a new option helps you to distinguish when you're logged in as an admin by allowing you to set the color of the status bar inside the Vault client. To improve communications when progressing through an engineering change order, Support has been added to edit the automatically generated email template for ECOs. For copy design in Vault Workgroup and Professional, rule sets are now stored on the server. This makes it possible for admins to manage copy design rule sets globally and provide standard settings for copy design behavior. Additionally, new functionality in copy design makes it possible to copy property values from the original file to any user-defined property in a new file. For example, the original part number or source drawing file. Security settings in Vault 2021 receive an extra option to help you manage reading and downloading of files. This option makes it possible for users to read information about the file without needing permission to download the file itself. For Vault users, a new property has been added to help identify orphaned files. The has parent property is true for files that are being used and false for files that are no longer being used. You could use this property as a filter or in a saved search or during a state change to automatically archive orphaned components. In prior releases, changes to the purge control for lifecycle states would only apply to new file versions. There is now a new option to apply purge control changes to historical data as well. And first seen in Vault 2020.2, Duplicate Search in Vault 2021 helps you to identify duplicate parts by comparing your inventor model with your vaulted data to help you identify duplicates before checking files into Vault. And a new duplicates dashboard with the ability to create and export a report to help you clean up duplicated part files already in your Vault. Autodesk Vault 2021 continues to build on your feedback from live events, Autodesk ideas, and the Vault Beta community with these usability improvements. For custom fabricators that work in the building and infrastructure industry, Autodesk understands that you want to provide more value to your customers. Autodesk Inventor 2021 now provides seamless integration with Revit data and maintains associative links for seamless interoperability. The Revit project can be accessed from a local file or coordinated via the cloud using Autodesk BIM 360. By the same token, Vault 2021 supports the inventor and Revit interoperability. For example, when collaborating on civil and AEC projects, Vault 2021 can now work with Revit files that have been linked with your inventor models from your local drive or via BIM 360 docs. Vault 2021 can help you detect and clean up unused files that are no longer required and prevent unused files from being released. 
A new property has been added to help identify orphaned files. The has parent property is true for files that are being used and false for files that are no longer being used. You can use this new property as a filter or in a saved search, or even during a state change to automatically archive orphaned components. The value for this property will be true as long as the file is used in any version of the parent, not only the latest version. So let's take a look at this in action. Inside of Vault, if we go into our search over here, you'll see we've added has parent relationship to our search filters. And if we set this to false and then choose an, an extension in this instance, part files and run a search, we're now looking at all orphaned part files inside of our Vault. So to verify that they're orphaned, if we click on one of these and we look at the where used, there's obviously no references there because this file is an orphan. So now that we've created this search, we can actually save this as a saved search by going to the dropdown over here. And we can then give this a name. So in this instance, we'll call this search orphaned files. And when we save this search, we're now able to go back to it at any stage. So clicking back on orphaned files, we can now see all of the orphaned part files within our vault. For copy design in Vault 2021 Workgroup and Professional, rule sets are now stored on the server. This makes it possible for administrators to manage copy design rule sets globally and to provide standard settings for copy design behavior. Additionally, new functionality in copy design makes it possible to copy property values from the original file to any user-defined property in the new file. For example, the original part number or the source drawing file. Many companies have very strict controls over properties and standards enforcement, and there is a need to restrict the user's ability to reuse part numbers and other file properties. Administrators are now able to enforce a specific action rule set for all users. These rule sets are managed by the administrator to enforce desired copy design behavior. So for the admins, the rule sets are written to the knowledge option table under an entry called copy design rule sets. Let's have a look at this in action. We're going to define a new rule set name. And once we've done that, we're going to go in and specify that we want to run this rule on specific file types. So we go and add in parts, assemblies, IDWs, and DWGs. And we can then say that we want to reset the category name and we want to map the part number to the file name. We can then set this as our default. And when we run a copy design, our new rules are applied during the copy process. Here are some of the improvements Autodesk have made thanks to customer feedback. Out-of-date file filters. Autodesk Vault 2021 has a new out-of-date file filter in Inventor's Vault browser. When enabled, the browser filters out all out-of-date files from the tree view so you can quickly find updated files. Change state condition is batched for actions including files, folders, and items and presented in one dialogue instead of separately every time. This is a huge time saving. And there's now an option to show more than a thousand jobs in the job queue. You can now set the number of jobs displayed in the job queue using a new option in the integrations tab of the global settings dialog box. When jobs are submitted to the job processors job queue, previously only the first thousand jobs were displayed. In Vault 2021, the administrator can now configure the job queue maximum display number from 1000 to 100,000. To improve communications when progressing through an engineering change order, support has been added to edit the automatically generated email template for ECOs. This gives you an easy way to customize your email template for easy follow-up. Vault 2021 now supports shared views for Navisworks files. In previous versions, if you managed Navisworks files in Vault and you didn't have the Navisworks application on your machine, you had no way to access the Navisworks files. Now in Vault 2021, you can view Navisworks files and allow viewing of Navisworks files outside of Vault with shared views. Let's have a look at the new duplicate search that was added in Vault 2020.1 and is now a standard part of Vault 2021. Before we get into the technology, let's have a look at the cost of duplicate components. The cost of a new part number are between $4,000 and $23,000 per item, according to a study by the Aberdeen Group. When redesigning instead of reusing, you're indirectly impacting your profit or time to market. Worse, you may introduce quality problems. 
The new duplicate search feature enables you to easily run a 3D geometric search for parts, so you don't waste time and effort documenting, releasing, and managing duplicates. This feature is a huge new benefit, and unlike other PDM systems on the market, you don't have to pay hidden fees or anything extra for third-party add-ons for geometric search. Autodesk has included its powerful geometric search feature within Vault Professional to add more value for users through increased productivity and cost savings. So for example, if you're an Inventor user and are frustrated with data duplication issues in your company, imagine the value of running a search on a part that doesn't rely on a part number or a part name. Duplicate Search uses geometry to show you all of the duplicate parts in your Vault. Vault 2021 also includes a duplicates dashboard that gives you the ability to create and export a report on duplicate part files. The dashboard can show you a ratio of duplicate parts in your vault and help you identify and reduce duplicates. Again, duplicate search and duplicates dashboard are features that'll save you a lot of time and money and are worth exploring in Vault Professional. So to give us a little bit more detail, we're gonna jump back over to Paul Mumford. Like an image search, but for your 3D components, Vault Duplicate Search smartly compares 3D shapes within the thousands of CAD files that you have within your database. You know you can reduce design and development time by reusing existing parts, but finding an appropriate part in your database can be challenging when you only have a file name or some metadata to search on. Duplicate parts in your engineering supply chain can cost your company thousands of dollars in redundant design, documentation, approval, release, and data management rework. Duplicate Search in Autodesk Vault Professional is a new subscription feature that helps you to reveal where duplicate parts exist in your designs to save you time and money and increase standardization across your company. In this example, we can see a new design that's not yet been checked into Vault. As we run a duplicate search, Vault is queried for components that match the geometry of our existing design. If we see a part that looks like a good match, we can replace the part within our designs with an existing file from Vault. When we're confident that we're not introducing new duplicates to Vault, we can check the design in. As we check in the design, Vault will scan the new parts we've introduced and add them to the duplicate index. But how can we detect existing duplicates in Vault? The new duplicates dashboard gives us an overview of the number of potential duplicates we have in our Vault. We can now create a duplicate report and begin assessing how we can add value to our business by removing duplicates from the database. Duplicate Search in Autodesk Vault Professional helps you to reduce design time and downstream part management costs to your company by allowing you to search your vault for matching 3D shapes. Let's have a look at some of the highlights for administrators that will increase efficiency. So Vault 2021 allows more granularity within the security model and minimizes deployment and maintenance downtime. Here's a quick rundown of where you'll find more capabilities and efficiency for administrators. Restrict file download access, audit log, hide disabled users and groups, resizable security dialogue, easily identify a user with admin role when logged in, flexible instance names, purge historical data, quick file store validation. We'll go into more detail in the next slides. So let's have a look at the Vault security model. If we use this 2020 example as a before, we can then have a look at a 2021 as an after. So previously in Vault 2020, the access rights in all parent folders, folder A, project B and project C, needed to be set to read because any user could download data, sensitive or not, within the parent folder to his or her hard drive. More settings granularity was needed. In 2021, Autodesk added a list option for folder security settings, where the folder contents are displayed to support navigation, but the file download, or get, is forbidden. Previously, any user or group with the read permission could download the file. Now it's possible to grant access to read folder content file properties and where used while preventing them from downloading the actual files. This capability opens new channels of collaboration workflows with other departments, sites, and external partners. For example, in the diagram, Team 1 has access to read and download the files, 
Team 2 has access to read the files in folder A, but no access to download them. The shop floor worker has access to read files in folder A and folder B, but no access to download them. More granularity benefits. So with this new change, if a user is assigned read permissions using the new permission model, that user will have permission to view the metadata of the file, including references, but will not be able to download the associated file. So what does this change mean for your existing environment? Now your data in Vault has a new download permission available. Existing access control will now include download permissions. Audit logs have been enhanced to track real downloads only. For example, get, open, view, and insert into CAD operations, pack and go, send files, and shared views. There's a new UI setting to turn logging for downloads on and off and separate audit logs for operations that download files and operations that delete them. A simple UI change has been added for Vault admins who work with large numbers of users. You can now filter disabled users from the dialog to help you narrow your focus to active users and resize the dialog to help you work with a large number of users. Filtering on disabled users can be found in the user and group management dialogues, as well as object and state security transition dialogues. To help remind Vault admins of whether they're logged in as an admin or a user, an option has been added which will color the status bar for admins only. This provides an easy visual check on your login status. All right, minimize downtime for backups and maintenance. So administrators are now able to purge legacy versions which are under lifecycle control. The file store validation has been optimized and there's now an ability to use a quick file store option for a quick validation. So during an attach or a restore workflow, there's now a checkbox which allows us to check the quick file store validation box. And what this does is it checks if the, it only checks if the file exists without checking the checksum. So it's a slight change to the way we went, worked before in previous iterations, you had to run a full checksum, which took a long time. Moving on to more flexible deployments. So Vault can now connect to an SQL database instance that's not named Autodesk Vault. This is something admins have been asking for for several years, um, and it's now available. There's a few use cases. So use case one, where there's several Vault servers residing in the same IT infrastructure. Use case two, separate dev or QA environment that's running in a mirror image of the production vault. Use case three, several vault servers with the same, within the same SQL server. And use case four, naming conventions that must be kept for SOCs and company standards. So that's it. Thank you for sitting through the presentation. If you have any questions or need help upgrading your vault, please contact your account manager and they'll be happy to help.